When you click the link to open Pixlr, the first thing you'll see once you click to open the editor will be this menu of create a new image, open image from computer, open image from URL, etc. What we're going to do is select the create new image and this is going to be basically importing the headshots you took of yourself. So we're going to start there with a blank picture uh, frame so to speak. So there'd be 800 by 600 pixels, that's a reasonable size. And then um, you're going to try to import the pictures as separate layers. So you'll notice you have a layers palette here and a history and a navigator. The layers one is the, the important one. It creates a background layer when you create the image. You're going to add additional layers. So you go to the layer menu and select open image as layer. Now this is a little bit tricky. You have to kind of click the mouse around to get the um, get it to activate the, the window to select, but that, that's kind of glitchy, but, you, but hopefully that'll work for you. And then you just pick an image. So I made these three kind of kind of goony images of myself with a, with a webcam just for the uh, exercise. So I click one, click open, that puts the first one in. Okay, so now I've got a background and I've got the first layer. I'm going to go back to the layer menu, select open image as layer again, do the thing of trying to, because right now I can't see the mouse, but I just have to kind of fish around and try to get the mouse into that window, which I still can't really see it there. Yeah, this is a freaky thing. Okay. So there we go. Got it. Here's another picture. I'm just going to do two just to show you what this looks like. Uh, select the second one, open it. So that's the second sort of um, pose or whatever that I captured myself in. So in this one I'm going to select that layer and notice that way down at the bottom over here underneath you have this toggle switch to, to either just show the layers or to select a layer and then if you hit this little, little link here um, it shows you the opacity. So then you can take the slider and merge the two photos. You can kind of see what's happening there, right? So that's the basic idea. Depending on how far you go with that, you get one to come forward or go back. So you can you can basically work with those kind of variables. Or if you want to put a different picture in, you can obviously do that too. But anyway, the technique I want you guys to explore here is simultaneity, and we're going to get at that by basically showing two things at once, two to pictures at once by using transparent overlay. This is just sort of like a in the category of compositional grammar or vocabulary. This is a, this is a sort of basic technique, the sort of multiple layers, one layer, uh, semi-transparent to show through to the bottom one. Uh, in the olden days this was done by a technique called double exposure where you take the same, use the same frame of film and uh, take two different pictures on that same frame.